Hey ladies, this is Joe Calicia coming to you with a video tutorial of how I color my weave. Um, now, this time I'm doing something a little different. I'm actually coloring, um, doing half and half, so the top is black. This is a 2B, I mean a 2B, haha, <laughs> this is a 1B, I'm sorry, um, I use the Value Yaki Beauty Supply Store. I've used this before and it is excellent hair, great. I haven't had any, you know, tangles or anything like that, um, but it's long-lasting, and I got 10 inches. Um, this is the hair. Now, I've already colored it once. It didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. First time I colored it, I used um, the texture tones, and I used the blonde, but it didn't really lift like I wanted it to. So, uh, this is what it looks like, though. Kind of like a regular blonde, but I want it lighter. So what I went ahead and did is I used the hair color that I use on my hair, which is the Fiend, uh Carson, and that's the 384 Light Golden Blonde, and that's what I'm using. Um, I've already mixed up the color right here. It's already mixed up, and now all I have to do is apply it. Now what you need is a hair color and a coloring brush, but since I don't have one, I'll be using... Um, I'll be using my hands because you see got gloves. So it's another thing you're gonna need your gloves. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, start coloring my hair. And so what I do is before I do that I kinda put some on the bottom and I rub it in. Like so. That way the hair will get on there, both parts. Since I'm doing this with um, let's bring that down a little bit. And so let that lay on there. And then since I got it on the back of it, I'm gonna go to the front. And what I did was I went about halfway. So that's halfway, and just. Make a Z or a squiggly, it ain't really there. Start to color it. So you pick it up to make sure you distribute it evenly. Kind of spread it out, pull it down, get all the strands. So then, after that, just fold it over. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but I know work it out. Fold it over, smash it, fold it, finish this up. So what I did is I sectioned it off, and I just pushed the other hair aside, and I cut me a piece of foil. Oh yeah, you will need foil as well. So, just use, I use regular foil, sometimes they'll have like coloring foil at the, at the salon, at the stores, and um, I ran out, so I'm going to use regular foil. Hold on just a second, guys, I'm going to put this. So now, see, I've got a big lengthy piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that and uh, kind of do like I did the other time. Just squirt some on there, rub it so that the back of it will get colored as well. It's a messy hot mess and pick up the hair, slide it, and then put it on. Once that's on there, put it on the front part and smooth it out.
And normally, I probably use about half the bottle, but this time, since I want to make sure it uh, it all gets on there, I'm gonna saturate it all. Uh oh, got a little bit in there. Just let it sit. And also, pick it up. Make sure you rub it in very good. See, if you have the brush, you wouldn't have to do this. Since I don't have the brush, this is what I'll be. I'll be doing. And again, just fold it. And also, um, another thing is when you when you get through, uh, you know, if it's taking a little bit longer than what you want, you can leave the the foil like that and plug up a blow dryer and just put the heat on it and it kind of speeds up the process as well. But don't put a lot of heat, just kind of, you know, do it on there for about, mm, i say 10 minutes and it'll probably speed it up. But um, that's all I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do the rest of the hair and then I'll come back once I get through coloring it and show you the ending results. Okay, bye ladies.